Hello, my name is Trevor. I'm a developer and a trainer here at Evolving Web in Montreal. Uh, and today I'm going to answer a question that somebody asked a, a few months ago uh, back at a training. And, and the question was, uh, when you have uh, taxonomy terms and you have a bunch of them, sometimes you have a parent-child relationship between those taxonomy terms. So you might have one be a, a fruit, and inside of there you might have, you know, apple, oranges, pineapple, etc. You might have another taxonomy term in there called vegetables. You'd have carrots, cauliflower, cucumber, whatever. Uh, the problem comes with sort of the user interface of this. Uh, inputting uh, and putting the child of those taxonomy terms can be a little bit cumbersome. And so are there ways, is there a module we can use to sort of make this easier? And further, uh, is there any way to make it easier for people who are just visiting the site? to be able to search through these parent-child relationships. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to talk about a module. Uh, I got it here, it's called Client Side Hierarchical uh, Select. It's from drupal.org right here. So I'm gonna show a little bit about that in a moment. First, I'm gonna show the setup that I have. What I have here is I have a, a content type and it is called uh, uh, event. And on here, I have a vocabulary that I've called event type. And right now, I just have art, education, uh, sports right there. So I'm going to go to my taxonomy terms, my vocabulary here. So I'm going to go to structure, uh, taxonomy, and event type. And I'm going to list the terms on this event type. So I see art, I see education, I see uh, sports. I'm going to add a few more terms. I'm going to add some terms that are sort of child elements of each of, each of these three. So uh, let's get started. I'll put uh, another term, um, art. I will put uh, music. Uh, let's do another one. We'll call it theater. And maybe for the education, we'll put... Uh, 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 a motivational speaker. And for sports, of course, we have to put hockey. And to be completely consistent, let's put uh, curling. All right, so we've added these, these sort of child terms for it. Let's see what the uh, taxonomy, uh, what our terms look like, what our vocabulary looks like for event type list the terms. And you can see here that they're all sort of on the same the same level. So we saw those first three we had before, you know, sports, education, and art, and all the other terms up on top of them. What we can do, and maybe you've already done this before, uh, you can take your terms and drag them underneath a parent and drag it to the right, and they automatically become uh, children uh, of the parent taxonomy term. So I'll take the art, I'll, uh, I'll take the theater one, and I'll take it underneath art and drag it to the right. Drag it to the right, like that, and I can save, and you can see it's sort of a, it's, it's sort of a child of, of art now. And I can do this for the, for the rest of them. I'll put music underneath there as well for art. Uh, motivational speaker, I'll put that underneath education. Again, drag to the right. And for sports, I'll put hockey and curling underneath there. Okay. So save that. I'm going to go back to my uh, content and I'm going to add a, uh, an event here. So event name, um, let's, put, uh, let's put Pink Floyd, get the band back together again. Uh, and under the event type here, we have the drop down. And you can see the, the, the parent-child relationship here. You see art, and underneath there you see a little hyphen for music and theater, sort of indicating that they're child elements. And this, this does work, you know, you can click music like that, and press save, and, and that uh, it uh, does work. Okay, but that's a little bit cumbersome, okay? We look at this, we look at this, and, and the, uh, uh, it's a little bit hard to see that these are actually children of it. You can see it, but it's kind of difficult. Uh, and we don't have many taxonomy terms inside of here. What if you have a, a vocabulary and you got a bunch of terms in here? This is going to get very messy very, very quickly. This is where the client-side hierarchical select module comes in. This is for Drupal 8. Um, a release just came out uh, a few days ago, 20th of July, 2020. So I have this installed. And so you can use this on, on your forms, on your content types as you're adding content. Uh, and you can also use it uh, with views. And I'm going to show that in a second. So I've already got this module, client-side hierarchical select. I've already got it installed. I'm going to show you uh, the options for it. 
So I'm first gonna show you what it looks like from the uh, editor, the person who's putting the content, what their point of view looks like. So I'm gonna go to structure, content types, and on my event content type, I'm gonna go manage form display, manage form display. And here, the, here's where I can change some of the options for how I input uh, input content. So scroll down to the bottom, and here's my event type uh, taxonomy reference uh, field that I created before. And you can see right now it's using the default, uh, it's using select list. But now I, I have this option here, client side hierarchical select. Okay, I'm gonna click, uh, choose that. And I have some other options here, force deepest, maybe I'll come back to that in, in a second. But I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna show you the difference now. Uh, I'm gonna go and add another piece of content, I've already got one music piece there. Uh, let's add a theater one. Uh, sure, everybody's talking about it, we'll put Hamilton in there. And now let's take a look at how the uh, taxonomy term uh, input actually looks now. So on event type, before we had all of those taxonomy terms, now we just see the parents, just the parent taxonomy terms. A little bit simpler, a little bit easier to use. Let's click art. And now it just shows the child elements of this parent taxonomy term. So now I can choose theater. And that's that. Let's press save. All right, a little bit easier to do that now. Okay, uh, let's add a couple more for, for each one. But before I do that, um, uh, I had the option here to edit this. I, it, it wasn't required for me to uh, salute, uh, <laughs> select the, uh, uh, the, um, the child element, the, the, the deepest one. You know, I could have saved this and just said it's a general art, you know. Uh, but I can change it so that, I'm just going to choose that to theater there. I can uh, configure this field so that I have to force somebody to choose the deepest level. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go back to content types. Go back to manage form display on my content type. And on that field, the event type field, if I've chosen client side hierarchical select, I have some options here. Uh, to force selection of deepest level. Okay, let's turn this on. And let's just see the difference for it. Force that. Update. Save. All right, let's add another uh, event here. Add content. Another event. Uh, let's do. Uh, uh, let's do. I don't know. TED Talk. Okay. Uh, event type. This is education. All right, now I'm gonna press save on this now. I do have the option to say motivational speaker, but if I press save, it's gonna tell me you need to select a term from the deepest level and event type field. So it, 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 I, have to, I have to choose this. You might need this for your project, you might not. So I'll choose motivational speaker, save. Okay, let's add just a couple more here really quickly. Let's add some sports ones, uh, event, We'll go Montreal Canadiens versus uh, Boston Bruins, gross. Uh, <laughs> sports, hockey, save. Okay, all right, so that's good. We've, we, we, we've got this up and running. Uh, and so that's a little bit of an easier interface for your editors, for your content editors as they, as they, add, uh, uh, as they add their content. Now, I've already made a view, a views page called events here, and this lists all the different events I've, I've, just, I've just added. And uh, 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 right now it's just showing all of them, and eventually you know, you'd have a, a site where it would show you know, dozens, hundreds of different events. You'd want your, your site visitor to be able to choose what type of event that they want to attend. I don't have a filter on here right now, an exposed filter, so I'm gonna show you how we can do that using this same taxonomy hierarchical select uh, module, client side hierarchical select. So structure, views, and again, I've already made this view here, so I'm just gonna go and edit this events one, list of upcoming events that users can filter. And I'm gonna add a exposed filter, so filter criteria. I'm going to go add. 
and I will search for taxonomy. And this part's important. Uh, here I can add a filter, and I have to choose the one has taxonomy terms with depth, with depth. And this is what's going to um, lead us uh, down that parent-child uh, relationship. So we've got to choose this one. Check that. Add and configure. We've got to choose which vocabulary. In this case, it's just coincidence that uh, uh, event type was the correct one, but you might have to choose the correct one for your vocabulary. And the selection type. Uh, before uh, installing this module, I did not have this option, client-side hierarchical select. Um, it might just say drop down for you or autocomplete. Make sure it's on client-side hierarchical select. Now, there's this option here, uh, depth, depth. Uh, this drop down here with all these negative and positive numbers. I'll just read this here. The depth will match nodes tagged with terms in the hierarchy. For example, if you have the term fruit and child term apple with a depth of one, this is kind of similar to our scenario with the event type. Uh, and then we have our sort of parent one and then the child one underneath that. So uh, our, our child elements have a depth of one. We're going one layer deep, okay? So I'm gonna change this depth to one. If I kept it at zero, it's probably just gonna show me those top level ones. Like, uh, like art, education, and sport. So we'll choose one, so it'll go one level deeper to our children. Apply. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go expose this filter to visitors to allow them to change it. We wanna make this an exposed filter. I'm just gonna change the label to choose event type. And we have a bunch of different options at the bottom here or sorry, on the right-hand side. Uh, we can, uh, you know, force selection at deepest level. I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'll show you the effect of that. We've got a bunch of different options. I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna go apply. All right, so now, just in the preview area, we have a little drop-down, okay? Let's save this and see how it looks uh, from the user's point of view. So I'm gonna go back to the site, just open this up in a, a new tab, and now on my events page, I have this drop-down. Okay, so choose event type, and of course I've got my results right there. And to start, it shows me just those three parent items, art, education, and sports. Let's choose, uh, let's choose art. I have two, uh, Hamilton and uh, the Pink Floyd. Uh, those are both arts, but I've chosen one level deep. Let's just see what happens when I choose art. Okay, it, 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 it gives me the drop down uh, right there for the others. I'm just gonna stop right here and click apply, see what happens. Okay, I've just chosen art, and now it's just showing me those two that are, are tagged uh, uh, as, as music and, and theater uh, who have a parent of art, okay? So it'll show you uh, just the general ones and it'll filter down uh, sort of broadly. And of course I can choose, go a little bit deeper, okay, choose art, and then choose music, apply, and now it'll just show me, of course, Pink Floyd, and I can get more specific with theater like that. Okay, and if I go please select right there, it'll show me, show me all of them. Okay, and one last quick thing, because people always do ask of like, hey, it's, can, you, can you load it a little bit, little bit quicker? Yep, you can turn on Ajax with this as well. So if you go to the advanced section on your view, use Ajax, click yes, apply, Save. And now this prevents it from doing a full page, a full page reload. So I'll show you what that looks like. I will just choose sports, apply, and it uh, doesn't do a page refresh. And there we go. Okay, so that was the client side hierarchical select module. Very, very useful. Uh, I've used uh, different variations of this, this module for through projects through many, many years. Uh, so very, very helpful. This is the one for Drupal 8 that I kind of recommend right now. Um, and so, yeah, take a look at that. Uh, at Evolving Web, we do a bunch of different uh, trainings. Uh, we do complete Drupal training uh, where we uh, teach you, you know, the basics, you know, site building and architecture. Then we get into uh, theming where we can show you how to make your own theme. And then we do stuff like module development, teaching you how to build your own modules. Uh, and we're getting to do uh, different types of training as well, you know, intro to HTML and CSS, uh, JavaScript, PHP. So you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash training, get a list of all the different uh, courses that 
that we have upcoming. Uh, as well, we have a newsletter. We have a newsletter. Uh, so if you go to evolvingweb.ca slash newsletter, you can go and sign up for that and uh, uh, be uh, informed of the next trains that we have upcoming, as well as some interesting uh, articles that we write talking about modules like this uh, and other Drupal uh, and web design stuff as well. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.